<clears throat> hey guys! <coughs> okay, so today we have some more LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 news. Now, uh, some of it though, pretty much most of it has to do with some of the gameplay I just recently showed from GamesCon, the whole boss battle with Surtur. So guess what? That big giant guy, Surtur, is going to be playable. Unless it's this little big fig spawn of him that comes up in the actual battle and that's the person that you're actually fighting. Which is interesting, I don't really understand the, the boss battle that's going on there. Like he just somehow goes into a natural big fig form. So my guess, which is kind of unfortunate, is that we're most likely just going to get the big fig version of him and not that giant version that you actually see. So that kind of sucks. But at least he is playable. It's Surtur. He'll still have the same abilities and whatnot. Uh, there could be a small chance that he's going to be in his larger form. I mean, who knows? But anyways, how about some more new playable characters? We got Quake, a.k.a. Daisy Johnson. You know, the character from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Not necessarily going to be based off of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. character Quake. Which then they'd probably use a similar design to this one here in LEGO Marvel's Avengers, included in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. DLC pack. But instead they might go for the classic version of her, which would be pretty cool to see, especially because then it's different and, again, not something that's, again, revolving around the MCU. Alright, now we all knew that Vormund is playable, thanks to me, your reliable LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 news source. But... Do you want to maybe know a little more about him? Well, first of all, here's this screenshot you've got of him. So that looks cool, doesn't it? And he, he appears to be in medieval England. And now, 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 if we go and we see this, we have the card. You know those character cards I was talking about a long while back? Where you could view the character's more personal information. Every single character on that character grid. You could just, like, hold down a button or whatever. I don't know how you do it, but you can do it. And you could read about them. So their character card includes stuff such as their biography and some of their abilities. So that's pretty cool. Now you know a little about Vormund. Can you even read anything? That looks way too hard to see. But hey, I think he's like a German version of Captain America. It's actually kind of interesting. But anyways, that's pretty much it. I know this is a shorter news update, but it's just kind of a branch of the previous news update. That wasn't even that long either. We're just getting little tidbits of information, trying to tell you what I can. So, that all being said, you guys tell me what you think of this information. You're looking forward to Surtur? You hope he's the big one? Or would you even prefer the big thing? You don't want the game to glitch out or whatever. And, uh, do you want the classic version of Quake? I mean, I probably would, yeah, instead of the MCU one. But they could still include both. Who knows? And how about Vormont? He looks cool. You like that screenshot? I like it too. All right, that all being said, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned. Lots of more videos coming real soon. Bye!